In this demonstration, you'll learn how to tune an antenna simulated with ANSYS HFSS through a two-way link with OptenniLab, a matching circuit synthesis tool. At the end, a complete project will be created in the ANSYS electronics desktop, including the original HFSS design, dynamically linked to a parametric circuit schematic. To illustrate, you'll simulate an antenna in HFSS and transfer the unmatched response at the antenna port to OptenniLab by using an integrated toolkit for linking HFSS and Opteni. The optimal match for the antenna is determined in OptenniLab, which provides a variety of candidate circuit topologies. Finally, a selected optimized matching circuit is transferred back to an automatically created circuit schematic in the ANSYS Electronics desktop, wherein the original HFSS design of the antenna is dynamically linked as a component. Consider this HFSS model of a broadband T planar antenna implemented as an integrated antenna on the circuit board of a mobile phone. The antenna is excited with a lump port at its center and with the ground plane of the representative circuit board and the antenna itself assigned as perfect D boundary conditions. Zoom out to see the sphere enclosing the antenna. The sphere, which is a radiation volume for the antenna, is assigned a radiation boundary on its outer surface. In the HFSS design, under Analysis, double-click Setup 1 to open the Solution Setup dialog. For this analysis, the adaptive frequency is defined as 1 GHz. A convergence criteria for the adaptive solution, max delta S, is set to 0 0.02, with a stopping criteria for maximum number of passes set to 20. To generate a solution across a range of frequencies, an interpolating frequency sweep is defined from 0.1 GHz to 3 GHz, with a step size of 0.02 GHz. Right-click Setup 1 and select Analyze to simulate the antenna. The simulation runs to completion in about 45 seconds, which includes the creation of the automatically adapted and accurate mesh and the interpolating frequency sweep. Open the S11 plot and observe the return loss, which indicates that the antenna is not properly matched near the band of interest around 1 GHz. To invoke the link between HOSS and OptiniLab, go to the menu item HOSS and select Toolkit, UserLib, and OptiniLab. This command transfers the simulated S parameters from HOSS to OptiniLab and automatically launches OptiniLab in preparation for synthesizing a matching circuit. Inside OptiniLab, from the menu item Analyze, select Matching Circuit Generation to synthesize matching circuits for LTE bands 14, 20, 5, and 8. On the Frequency tab, select Add Band. From the Wireless System drop-down menu, click 3G PP FDD bands and select band 14. Click Apply. Repeat the steps to add bands 20, 5, and 8. The Frequency tab is updated as shown. Click OK to generate the matching circuit topology automatically with the values of two ideal components. To explore how adding components to the matching network can improve the bandwidth, return loss, and efficiency, Set the number of components to 3. Select Analyze, Matching Circuit Generation to open the dialog. Select the Topology tab and increase the number of components to 3. After analysis, multiple topologies will appear under the 3 component folder. In general, the addition of a third component to the matching network improves the minimum efficiency. You can see further improvements to the bandwidth and efficiency of the network by adding a fourth component. Repeat the previous steps for four components. OptiniLab also provides functionality for analyzing the tolerance of the matching network plus antenna system. Right-click the circuit and from the shortcut menu select Tolerance Analysis. Accept the defaults and click OK. The additional lines in the resulting plot display the spread of the system's response as affected by variations in the component values of the matching network. Now, to pass this optimized matching circuit back to the ANSYS Electronics desktop and dynamically link it to the original HFSS 3D antenna design, right-click the generated circuit and select the option Transfer Circuit to ANSYS Electronics desktop. Observe the resulting plot in the ANSYS Electronics desktop. This is a circuit simulation showing the combined response of the synthesized matching network from OptiniLab and the original response from the HFSS 3D antenna model in HFSS. The optimized matching circuit is built into a new circuit schematic automatically, which is then dynamically linked to the original HFSS design. 
This concludes this demonstration of the workflow between ANSYS HFSS and Uptenny Lab for tuning and matching an antenna.